I remember going over there about 12 later that, that morning to drop off. You know, I had trash cans and extension cords and some other stuff that uh, I was going to pitch in. But I remember seeing, uh, as I pulled around the corner, this big, huge flag that they were uh, over there trying to hang up. It was uh, Doug was there, Wayne, uh, Dale, German, Shane. They were out there hanging this huge flag, and I remember it just like something come over me. I just got like so, I, it, it got emotional. I mean, it was just like, wow, here it is, you know, the day of the show. It's really going to happen. All, all this hard work and everything we've done, you know, all the all the invites and all the all the all the, the tweets and and everything we did it was all for that day and it it was here and i remember seeing my buddies up there on the side of that hill hanging up that flag and it just made me so proud you know to be a part of that you know and to you know just just you know to to be involved with with something so cool and i remember going up to to them you know and i was just giving them all you know big hugs and i was just like you know, shake and high five, and because you know, I was excited. You know, we were going to be jamming here in just a few hours, and it was uh, it was finally here. Hey, hey. Bro, bro. Stop. 2015. I don't know how it could have got any better. I, I do not know how it could have. I don't either, man. I don't know how it could have got any better. You guys have the ball, and that's all to I remember Shane called me up, you know. I was actually out of town on, on a trip and he called me up and was telling me about this idea he had, you know, about this like big party where we, we would play, uh, you know, our, our instruments and uh, just like like an intimate type of thing, like, you know, could be around a campfire, but he wanted to, he wanted to invite like, you know, basically just like the east side, you know, like like everybody who had been a part of growing up over there um just 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 throw this big party for to give everybody a chance to to get together and uh you know reminisce and just catch up basically and uh i told him i said man call doug doug smith you guys probably know him as doug smith uh because man this is right up his alley this is this is what he's always talking about too so he calls up doug and then Shane called me back. Yeah, Doug's on board. You know, he's he's excited. So, uh, well, I said, well, next step, you know, let's get together and let's, uh, you know, kick it around and see where it goes. Hey, uh, what is today? January the 13th? Today is no, the 10th. No, the 10th. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's our first. Uh, we got this new idea, Today's Hoodstock, um, coming up for June 13th. We're just here, a few of our buddies, mm, trying to get the... Uh, Jay Peasel. The preliminary planning down. We're over here on the east side of Kansas City at my friend Shane Wayne's house, and uh, just working out some details. But we, this is the very first uh, little session. For yeah, yeah, wow. instance, yes. you know, this is just an example. If we had, say, one of the big, you know, rollback tow trucks parked in the very back with drum riser and speakers up on this, and then maybe something else cool that you were on, and then you know, like something flat. So that way, what I mean is just visually, you know. Uh, just a little more captivating than think, think of theatrics yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. think, think of all the pictures. Oh, it's gonna be so yeah. good, man. Yes, absolutely. I don't it's see. So good. Yeah. And I think now that we're we're getting uh, grasping the idea, really. I mean, the venue. I mean, I see it, man. Yeah. I mean, it's rough this now, is, but I see it. Shame. You know what? If you got vision, yeah. and you can yeah, see it, I see it. What you think about, you can. You will hold it, you know what I'm saying? You'll make that vision a yeah. reality. It may take that venue. What if we uh, reserve it in plenty of time? Yes. And if because we doesn't build up like, party anyway. If it doesn't build up to that. Absolutely. Hey, Kevon, look, here's hey. what we got. Okay. Now, my girl? behind you, we got some stage panels there, so we're gonna have big, a big, big stage. Right. Okay. Uh, there'll be stuff going on inside the rod, whatever. Maybe they just little barrel fires and stuff. The Camaro staying. We're thinking about <laughs> trying to, stuff, you know, maybe. Oh, yeah. Hold on. But from here, 
we're going to have probably a big rollback truck and drum ride on those speakers. Have some uh, some of them little panels I got for this kind of little pedestal here and then lower and then over there. We're going to have all this rough shit fixed. You know, I know a lot of people are probably not going to sit down and spend 30 minutes and watch this thing, but for us, it's just like, just like a way to remember and uh, just kind of show them guys how, you know, how an idea can can be born and actually happen. And uh, I just remember talking to talking to uh, Shane like in the, in the early days when we when we started planning this. Um, and just you know remembering some of the things he said like you know the tow trucks and and the drum riser and just just like how all those things just like became a reality you know that those things we were dreaming about how we actually you know how how they happened and it's just because you know we we thought about it and you know we 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 dreamt it and and made it possible We're going to use Wayne's resources because he's like this, you know, Facebook, you know, king or whatever. So he, he, he knows how, he says he can get the people there, you know. He, he's, he's, he loves the idea. Um, so we're going we're gonna to make this little commercial here. We're trying to plan this huge event for June 13th. We're trying to call it Hoodstock. We're you know, the purpose of it was to, for him to post it on his uh, Facebook page and start getting the word out. And, you know, we were going to call it Hoodstock, you know, kind of a spinoff of, of Hoodstock. If you don't want to come, Bo don't love you. It's an honor to be in the presence of all these guys. We love them all, and I tell you what, we love you. We want you to be there. Tell your friends, your family. 2015, June the 13th, Hoodstock. If you want to feel the love, you come see us, baby. Well, I believe in destiny, and I believe in the note you guys left on my gate that day, and I believe that what we had turned out to be something greater than we had ever anticipated and i believe that that feeling is the same thing that we're you know the reason that we come together to do what hey, we're but you doing know what? We that's why I think it, it wasn't was... just us that felt it either it wasn't just us that felt it right? we, we had a lot of people that followed it and you felt it too man and, and, and thrived off of it and, and looked forward to the next show you know I was kind of like anti, like, after a singer like Dave, which I thought we should be, like, the 80s. More vocal ah! than Queens yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't know about this <laughs> shame thing. It's like, no, I, remember, I remember doing this. He was like, I remember doing this. I was like, all right. You wanna play something? Play something with this. You know, this guy throw you off. Yeah. And then you're on each side right. Like rapping to it. I was like, damn that kick. Yeah, maybe that's what I was like going like. Whoa. Your ability to get in front of people and and thank you, Tim. Connect with the man and and being a front man, you was really really good, man. Wicka wicka wicka. You know, you should have been famous. Thank you. Hey, it ain't over. Okay. <laughs> it's a, a sake shot. It was just, it was just great, man. That was one for me. One of the uh, the best parts about it was getting together with those guys, and uh, you know, just just it just felt good. You know, I really missed that, and uh, you know, that, that was good. And uh, you know, people would show up to band practice, and we'd get uh, you know, we'd we'd make little pictures and. Little, you know, we had little photo opportunities. You know, we we'd, uh, you know, just another chance to, uh, to, uh, you know, invite people. So we'd put those little pictures up on Facebook and stuff. So it was good. Doggy, what's up? Why you been pushing so hard to make this hoodstock thing happen? Man? If I don't push you, who's going to, Shane? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You no, you know, I, I, I've been looking forward to this since uh, since it was brought to brought to me. You know, from from you and whatnot. Uh, you didn't hear Just this really looking you. looking forward to getting together with the, you know a lot of old friends that uh, seems like the only time we run into them is at funerals and stuff anymore, and this you know give us a good chance to uh, catch up with some old mates that uh, we used to run with back in the day that uh, you know at a little little easier venue I guess. Well said, young man. Tell us a little bit about the tribute list and talk a little bit about 
how you know all the people on on our Facebook page stuff can send photos right. in to the tribute for the big right. slideshow yeah. at the party. Well, the tribute list is uh, something that uh, we want to put together to uh, kind of uh, pay respect to some of the East Siders that are no longer with us that we've lost over the years that we haven't had a chance to say uh, goodbye basically to and uh, maybe send out a, a, a you know respect you know respect to them. Uh, they can get on Facebook, uh, the, the Hoodstock page, and you can uh, post a name on there that, that you would like remembered or post a picture on there and we can grab that and we'll have uh, uh, a reading of a list and some pictures and stuff at the show uh, at Hoodstock uh, 2015. I'm singing this next song for Bo's mom, Eileen Walker. Give it up, everybody! <laughs> Well, I'm taking this back to a place we left behind And I'm taking this back where everybody's getting high We're gonna have a party, hell yeah, we're gonna do it right I see people standing all around me, hell, we go rock and roll all night I'm just a dead guy, I can't wait to go up my life I'm just a dead guy, best with my kids, my wife In our circle, um, you know, it was it was our way of saying goodbye to a real close friend of ours, uh, Kenny Rodriguez. He was he was he was a part of everything we did. I mean, he was he he was I mean right there in, in the thick of it with with my with my group. There's no shortage of names on the list. Right. I'm sure you have a lot that you could say, and oh, yeah. I too have some I could share, and, and I bet everyone out there could share the same way. So send your photos in. Let's make one hell of a tribute list. It doesn't have to be a deceased friend. It could be friends that are current. Let's just bring it. Let's have one hell of a slideshow. Dog, yep. anything in closing, man. What, what do you really want to tell these people about Hoodstock? What, what, what are we really going to do that day, man? Man, we're just going to have a good time. The main thing is everybody come enjoy yourself friends family you know just good time back in the old neighborhood you know We've got a lot of memories in this neighborhood all of us do uh, from hanging out up at blue valley up the shelter house uh, a lot of memories down here at shelter four even you know continued all the way up to the, today you know uh, just gonna be a good time everybody get together and just bring your a game your a party game man bring your a game i remember the day the day of actually the night before it starts raining Rains all night, you know, gets Shane's yard all, uh, you know, all muddy and everything. So, anyway, that morning of the show, it was like June 13th morning, Shane calls me up and I could hear it in his voice. He was just like, he, he, he wasn't throwing in the towel, but I could just tell that, that he was, uh, you know, he'd been under a lot of stress, you know, and he was, you know, a little concerned about the weather and if it was going to clear off or not. And I remember it was about 2 o'clock. I had left at this point. I was actually back out uh, doing something else but I remember looking up at the sky you know about an hour before it's supposed to start you know and uh, you know it, it was dark to the south and dark to the north but th just looking west you know it was just like the sky was starting to to, to open up and and the peaks of sunshine was coming out and I was I remember thinking man this must really be meant to happen I mean how how awesome is this right an hour before the show it starts to clear up you know almost like a sign from from the man upstairs you know like you guys are going to have your party today fellas i want to thank all the people who helped make it possible and thank you very much hoodstock 2015 guys snafu ladies and gentlemen you know, people started people started showing up they had their canned goods you know for harvesters um you know they had their coolers they had their lawn chairs 
and people just they they came out and, and we did the dang thing. Been a funky pair of leaf eyes and a sweater kind of tight. Had a West Coast skirt that was sweet as molasses, but we're really not me out with the cheese sunglasses. That is cool. kids there having fun. I didn't get no video of uh, the slip and slide too they had going down the side of the hill. But the kids were, you know, the kids were awesome. They were having a great time. Everybody was just hugging and, you know, just happy to see each other. I mean, the, the idea, it happened. I mean, it was happening right there in front of my, in front of my face. you guys if you got a, a van with racks or a four-door parked right on the corner uh, I got a neighbor that says we're blocking him up a little bit right on the corner at uh, but, uh, anyway uh, snafu they jammed you know they played some good old ZZ top and uh, a lot of good covers cover tunes and then pull which is they were one of my favorite bands back in back when we were we were trying to play uh, they did their thing they, they were awesome such such great guys one hell of a kick-ass band give it up pull ladies and gentlemen yeah! Only one regret I had was I didn't get any video of uh, the off the wall set. You know, I had my wife taking pictures during the show, but I forgot to tell her, you know, get some video. You know, and I wish I, I wish I would have had somebody else to actually video for us. Well, I guess this is the moment you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start, man. I want to tell everyone thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for coming to my birthday party and, and just kicking off Hoodstock 2015 and having a good time, man. And, and really, that's what it's all about. All I've seen tonight is people having fun and enjoying themselves, and I have been one of them. So thank you very much. Again, it couldn't be possible without everybody and all the people who has helped here tonight. And, you know, if you see a beer can on the way to the can, throw it in help me out man because it's gonna be a long night but it is the otw Give me what I 
guys from Purgatory Tattoos came out you know they had their motorcycles and uh, you know Ralph and, and his tow truck I can't say enough about old Ralph man he I mean he had his camper there he he camped out he had uh, he had a smorgasbord of limes and Patron and I mean he he was having a good time because these guys are they're they're just a bunch of clowns man just so much fun getting together with them and uh you know being a part of this so hopefully there's many more hoodstocks to come and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next one <laughs> 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 Dimitri, okay. Have you ever heard of Dimitri? I want to do this kid. Plug 26. Give me a little plug on Woodstock. 25th. Hoodstock. Hoodstock 2015. 
January the 13th. Uh, she was my buddy Dale's girlfriend. Right. We were at a party one night. Right. Dale wasn't acting real cool. He passed out. And he, he no, 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 actually, he had aces. Okay. okay. So, I said, you know what? I'm giving just a, about a third of it. And you know what? It wasn't even nothing sexual or fun. I just said, let me go out, hang out with Ken for one night, baby. Alright. Put that This in. might make the documentary, so I be will. truthful it now. It will. I'm, I'm honest. I'm being honest. Okay. Ken was like, well, let's get some nachos for 7 Eleven. I was like, well, I want Dale to think something funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we went ahead and got the nachos. Everybody you want to eat for like three bucks? Remember that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> And then, so we drove down to the laundry man. But when we got there, Jim was like reprimanding Dale because sales was low. He was raping The older you get, the faster you get older. Does it sound so wonderful? It's true, your perception of time. Remember, a year it used to be a long hey, thing. Now it's not. another one. You start to die the day you're born. Hey, I, got to, I, was, I was I had the Benjamin Button Center. Wouldn't that be kick ass? It's gonna be hot come June, and we're gonna be doing this, baby. And this is the dog. It's the dog. He's spearheaded. Hey, he's spearheading all these. This is happening because of the dog. Woof, woof, motherfucker. Hey, all right. peace, peace. Hey, and here we come. We got our beer coming. We have to cut. We walked you into it. This is gonna be. It's January 17th. We're gonna walk the into it. Hey, to the headless, the 13th. hey headless, back this, up a little bit. This Come is my here. boys. Hey, this is my crew. I'm gonna crawl that nipple. Hood stock. Oh, that's a good one. Did I say hood stock? Oh! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right, let's do this. Oh, here we go. All right, here hey, we go. Get, keep him coming. Give me another one. We're just gonna load his whole earlobe up. Brother in law. <laughs> I'm just saying, right here today, right you my boy, I'm going to accept it, let's do this, you my son, you know what I mean, nigga, uh, let's do this, from now on, nigga, you my son, let's do this, my man. Hey. You guys are going to make me have a stroke out of this.